Crown Big Nation. Ooh, we got a little that sight here in Michigan. Back to you again with another video. Oh, Crown Big Lifestyle and had a video two straight days. Woo hoo. You know he's putting in work with this good weather out here in Michigan. Uh, you know, we're getting closer to, well, it should be spring now, but you know, here in Michigan, we got another probably 30 days of it could be a foot of snow. So I'm trying to get out here and get some things brainstormed. And um, I was looking up a way to hook up a transmission cooler. This is the True Cool Max uh, cooler. Um, you know, lifetime warranty, all the good stuff. You know, and I was trying to figure out how I could hook it up. But if you look, you know, there's really no room. And then when you do get some room, the power steering cooler is right there. I'll show you a different picture of it on the other Vic right quick, too. But um, I was trying to brainstorm an idea, and I came up with a pinky in the brain type of That light bulb went off in my head, and it said, bling. And I said, well... Since I'm not using the original trans cooler, which is, uh, I forgot how they say it. It's you on this because you have the radiator right here, and then behind here you have the AC condenser and the trans cooler all in one. Um, I guess you consolidated or whatever the term. I forgot the term was. But it's all in one piece, and that's this piece right here. You see the AC comes in here, goes to it, and then there's another line that I'm going to show you that goes to the trans cooler. So, um, this is the power stirring reservoir right here, which holds transmission fluid. So, what I decided and brainstormed was that if... I'm no longer using the bottom half of this, which is the trans cooler. Hope you guys can see a better view, but this is how it's set up. This part right here, this is the bottom of it. This is the trans cooler, and this is the condenser right here. The condenser is at the top, the trans cooler is at the bottom. So what I was thinking was, is that you guys can see i know it's a little yucky is that i could take this is the original trans cooler lines and they would simply go this way when the engine and trans is installed what i was thinking was is that if i take these two lines that went to the transmission cooler and turn them into power stirring cooler lines basically putting it down here you see where my hand is at get some l fittings cut under here come all the way up here are the return lines for the power stirring that goes uh, this one comes from the cooler and you have this one right here that is not hooked up that comes from the power stirring pump so I was considering doing that and, and you know taking this bending it down or even getting some more L fittings. If you guys never seen an L bob wire, I mean barbed, I said bob well, barbed wire, I'm thinking of wrestling mankind and undertaker, but uh, no, um, barbed L fittings, putting them on here, rerouting, coming down here, making the L under here, drilling a hole, that way I could uh, zip tie it to there, and that way I could delete you know, the, this is the power stirring cooling system that I, I would not need. And this will give me space to hook in the brackets. It will give me space to hook in these brackets right here. You know, and uh, you take these brackets and mount them. You know, they give you a little bit of hardware. I probably have to get some more of these. They give you some bolts or whatever. And um, they give you quite a bit of line with them. And um, I'm probably going to go get some uh, more L fittings. Well, T fittings and, you know, L fittings or whatever. 
even for these because well this one well this one at least because they gave me the holes and instead of trying to pry it that way if I get a L fitting I can have it come and uh, be able to zip tie these together and go to the uh, transmission so um, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea I know this is a little scattered but this is just something I came up with that way like I say I could put the trans cooler because right now there's no way to kind of get it in there except for under the bottom but then again like I say you have the power stirring cooler in the way so that's what I'm brainstorming right now is to turn the transmission cooler on the stock crown big into a power stirring cooler and delete the factory cooler system and put in a true cool transmission cooler i mean i believe that should make sense and um, i'm also doing the fuel pump which um let me go show you because i did pull it off the white vic the white vic is definitely the other one is so much cleaner but it is what it is so this is what i ended up pulling off the complete harness off of the uh, vic the other 2011 one and i'm actually it's pretty easy because these are going to be my power they're going to go up to the car and then you have everything you relay i just simply pull the top off and put a screw behind here pop that on and then you have your relay triggers uh, to your fuel pump and all those are right here and i'm gonna thread them through the car and actually since all the you know little connectors are still on there it saves me a lot of time and work so that's what i'm going to do um get that hooked up get the fuel pump on there and then like i say i believe my uh check engine codes have something to do with the oxygen sensors and um like i said i'm not going to really worry about that right now um you know i'm just going to keep track of that code that way if i need to do maybe a vacuum leak test with a smoke machine i can do that and then just track down what the lean condition was you know so um like i say this car did have a weak fuel system um you know it would lose power here and there but when it go it goes so uh youtube um just uh letting you know the progress letting you know the kids doing work uh i never said this before but you guys like share subscribe you know big things coming forward you know let's put let's put the crown vix on the map you know let's fight the epa you know sign the rpm act you know or sign to get it put in front of you know where it needs to be so support support modern vehicles you know it's america you know land of the free you know go blue red and white subscribe like and share crown victoria lifestyle peace